No, it's because I didn't write nice words about him. But to be fair, I'm pretty sure he didn't like it at all. Also, there was like 200 people on there. I got very tired of doing that. By the way, if you want me to write nice words about you, go like one of my tweets back then at the Black Blur. You're not gonna respond to it. No one asked you to you? snitch. I, I said, are you? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Duh, duh. <laughs> Anyways, good into the game. Of <laughs> Inkling versus Wolf. Arkster, you play Inkling yourself. What do you think of this matchup personally? This matchup's mad annoying just because it, it feels like Wolf a lot of times can just land into you with the nair, and it's really frustrating. But at the same time, once Inkling gets going, they have so much they can do to Wolf. You know. Uh, one of the best edge grinding tools in the game, uh, you know, able to just keep Wolf in the air, juggle him, has the throw combos. Oh, barely misses that back here. I love K9's uh, ledge guarding against, uh, like, just a lot of the players. If it's at not percent where a down clash or kill, he just jump nares. Because it covers so much, it auto cancels, and if they, like, neutral get up, you just yeah. get to grab him. Jumping right into that bear, now the grenade down here is so dangerous, barely missing that down smash. Yeah, kind of is timing it. That should honestly feels like it should have been a rather free down smash just because of the angle. But a down smash for K9 says, man, that's like the day one old stuff. But like it's making a comeback because people stop doing it where they forward smash the shield. You try and shield grab it and then they down smash it. But then people stop doing it because they actually punished it. And now people kind of forgot you can do it. Yeah. Speaking of forgot, K9 is kind of forgetting the. Uh on the X Axe playing the game. This lead is slowly building up, 81%. Clanking with uh, two smash jacks. And getting back into it. X Axe still not finding the stock. He's getting this damage in, but damage doesn't matter if you're going to stay alive long enough. Now we have K9 off stage with really good wolf flash. He knew X Axe was probably going to go off because he really wanted the stock. So just going a little early so he can uh, secure the stock. Yeah, and honestly, it can be kind of a struggle to kill. Wolf, if you can't, if you can't edge guard him that fair, just do it. kill him from across the field. Drop kicks in the face will do strong it. Hit. You know what? Inkling's floater has a pretty strong early hit. The late hit. It's really strong, actually, yeah. It's active for a long time, but it doesn't do that much knockback. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much old Diddy's fair. Yeah. That up smash is going to scoop him up. 1% on K9 with two whole stocks. Exax not looking too good, but if he can get his momentum rolling, like we said, this could be a different story for him. I like how he went down and waited for the reset, but K9 you know, spot dodging in the nick of time. That was an ugly combination, because it just didn't look like it should have happened. And gets called out with that back air. Messing him. Anyways, K9 going to take that first game with a two-stock. Looking really clean. x was really struggling to find these hits on K9. I really like seeing like, maybe put uh, some more dash dancing back and forth, try to get these grabs, and do a lot more whip punishing, because he was just kind of falling to the struggles of what Kano was doing. Kano was controlling the uh, the pace of the match throughout this whole time. Game two, winging it back to PS2. Switching over to the colors, though. Sometimes that could be the breath of fresh air you need. Gets that back air into that turnaround jab. Really, really important combat that low percent to get on your damage and get your ink. Yeah, fine enough, like, at that early percent, you, you technically can't grab, but because people always shield, you get to. The only thing you can really do is the, like, buffered turnaround grab. Yeah, yeah, at that early percent, at top level, you see a lot of people just, uh, just rolling out of it. Gets that down smash, caught XX, uh, going a little bit above the stage. Uh, goes to that tech chase with the down smash. Not gonna go for a roller this time, but now... Yep, K9 misses the tech. That's something you, you you heard people say that you should do in the beginning, but you never see people do it. People are like, I need to get this tech. Well, the thing is, like, it's a 50-50. Yeah. If Inkling's ready for you and not tech it, it's a jab lock forward smash. Or a jab lock into the roller is also a thing that Inkling can do. Mm -hmm. um, pay on the characters, tab easy on some. Don't touch my shield. But, like, you gotta just go for the 50-50. The best thing you can do is DI, like, the back air upward and jump so you can't actually get put in the tech situation. Yeah, a lot of a lot of nuances to the to fighting Inkling. Neutral tech gonna take a little bit longer, giving K9 enough time to get that dash back. There we go, gets another jab. Wow, a lot of backers coming in. Xax finally taking the lead. Yeah, just carrying him across stage. Oh my God, I was gonna say, please don't get hit by that. Oh, down smash, not gonna be tipper, so not gonna kill just yet. 
That Nair doing a phenomenal job edge guarding. K9 had the idea with the uh, roll, but acted a little too late. Gets that yeah. drowning. That should be the stock. Yeah. K9 not able to mash out at that percentage anymore. It, it really does just get to a point where if no matter how good you're mashing, you're not going to get out of it unless XX messes that one up. And, and sometimes, and that's the argument that you should mash, because what if your opponent, you know, yeah. goofs? I mean, it happens sometimes, you know, they're panicking, they don't dash correctly, or they miss a play, but... Yep. Sometimes the nerves hit you, but the nerves are not hitting K9 as he ends it back up with a second up smash. Looking for the landing forward air into an up air, but doesn't find another landing up air this time, but doesn't get the forward air instead. Yep, shield in the jab. Let's see what the next is going to be. K9 just holding shield, barely misses the fair, and it goes unpunished now. The grab, especially under that platform, that's gonna be so good. You get that short hop up air, auto cancel into another air. Oh Dude, my so god! So smart. I love. That's such a uh, such a difficult thing to deal with with Inkly on the ledge. You have that grenade, they place it on there, and it's going. And you just have a timer. If you get high enough percent, it'll just hit you and go off. Then it forces an option to where. Uh, the Inkling can just choose how he wants to punish you. And his style was charging that F smash at a distance where neutral get up, get up attack, and roll all would have been caught. So game three, no switches from either player as I expected. Yeah, I mean, these two players, these are the characters that got them here. I don't know that Inkling, or XX has another character at the same level of his Inkling. He does play Falco, but yeah, like you said, at the same level. Yeah, not one to put like all his chips on yet. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he got there, but I mean, right now it's gonna be the Inkling and the Wolf. Yeah, the Inkling has been doing just fine. He's been able to pull out these clutch situations. And I really do love the way that XX has done a good job of using his movement to look aggressive, but instead he's actually playing big charge on that grounding. Yeah, that was one of those times we definitely could have mashed out. Yeah, yeah, bro, if I get grounded at 100, I'm beating up my controller. It says, I'm going through three controllers in a month, but I'm not getting up smashed at 90. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. And exact such low percent, already lapping K9. Oh, that was actually a really good down smash from K9, but misspaced it oh, just a little bit. You know, trying to avoid the getup attack from the Inkling. And you saw there, XX actually had a jab lock opportunity, but he saw that he missed it, so he just waited for the getup, and K9 did the F-Smash, most likely in uh, retaliation to seeing that he was going to roll it, but he let it go a little too late, early. Didn't do it the right timing. Yeah. K9 now down 3-1. to one. And this is something we've been seeing with XX a lot. You'll see him, like, lose his first game, and then he just gets that download. Yeah, it's again momentum. You know, Inkling is one of the definitions of momentum characters where now that XX has a lead, he's figured out K9's options. Inkling does a good job as a character of just punishing habits. You know, if Inkling, if XX says, oh, I know you have a jump habit, he can call it out with those forward airs and get so much off it. If he says, oh, I know you land with an aerial, I can whip punish with roll. Mm -hmm. Now, XX looking to make it three stock. And again, that whip punishing is so good. You don't want to overextend against him. Inkling. He killed him with the roller three times, but used a different smash attack. Each time, by the way. When did he up smash him? The second stock. Didn't? Oh, that was the first stock that he did that up smash at a dumbass yeah. low percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exact's now going up 2 1 in this set. Looking like it's escaping K9. Look at him, he's thinking. Yeah, that's the uh, sigh of, man, I have to play a best of five against this win. Can't call him butter. K9 is not on a roll here he at game four. <laughs> he didn't have to say that. I definitely did not have to. But nonetheless, here we are, game four, going back over to town and city. K9 getting first hit. Crosses up with the fair, but K9 kind of, it looked like he already knew it. Calls oh. him out with the back air. K9's angry. 
Okay, interesting. I feel like that was supposed to be runoff up air, but because XX plays with Smash Sticks, he got up Smash. It kind of just worked out for him. Did not know he played with Smash Stick. Yeah, I remember making a tweet a while ago about how much better it was for Inkling because their tilts aren't the best. That's true. Or and it's I could see it. To like up smash out of shield with that. Yeah, I can see his reasoning for it. Is that up, up throw? throw? Nope. I don't know if he's... Interesting that he's going for the up air there. I feel like uh, he was too high, or the back air rather. I feel like he was too high for up air, but... Yeah, just barely. Yeah, go to that up throw for the uh, mix-up. See what, X, what uh, K9's gonna do. Ooh. Right back air. It actually just missed the tech. That wasn't even untackable. Yeah, I feel like he just wasn't expecting it. You know, X-Ax has been reserved. Going for these, like, down tilts on the ledge, down smashes, whatever. But for X-Ax to all of a sudden just run off and back air... It ha it's unfrustrating. He hasn't done it once this set. Gotta get that. Gotta get that stock somehow. But Exact still at about 90%. K9 only at 11. The K9 knows he needs to make sure that. Ooh. Oh my gosh! So close on the micro spacing. I like that he uh, waited in the air for a little bit and then did that falling there so he can get a uh, combo. Yeah, landing there is such a good tool for that character. It's that near in the back air. Exact slowly bring this back. 60% gets that roller. I don't think that's going to kill, but here's the There's mix the up. Block. He, no, he doesn't get the second one. I believe he. I don't know. I feel like maybe he wanted an up smash. Yeah, jumping he right definitely in. wanted to like up smash or forward smash him. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's definitely the spot where I can put the second roller. No, I definitely thought I was going to go for a second roller, but damage maybe is damage. That's just a habit I have, and I, other don't do it. I thought they did. I don't know. Either way, unfortunate mess up, and Kanon going to pull ahead now in this game four. Goes up a stock. But he has him at this ledge. How the hell are you going to get back? Yeah, he's doing... Oh, my God. He's just covering every option. XX is doing his best to get off the ledge as fast as he can. And k just ready for it, man. And now XX getting a little hasty for the kill. We've seen him in this position before. How did that not hit? Not finding these kills. And suddenly he's kind of overextending a little bit. Again, rolling right into K9. Looks like he's got this stock. This game on a handle yeah. with that back, they're going to two stock. Bringing it over to a game five. It's not what I would expect after that game number three, honestly. I kind of thought XX had this one in the bag, but K9 recomposing himself, you know, taking a deep breath before the game and saying, I can still win this. Wolf is a very good character. This matchup's not terrible. I'm a good player. I can do this. I can do this. And do this, he did. And here we are, game five. Did not see the stage choice, but. Thinking about it, are you talking about DSR? I don't know, but. Okay, yeah, I think they were double checking that there's no DSR. Which uh, we don't use here in Tokyo. Interesting, uh, interesting idea. I don't know what I think of it. We have very few stages with only. Six in our list, so two ban, then DSR. Yeah. That would be, that'd be I nice. Feel, I feel like the reason behind it is kind of like you get one ban and DSR, or do you just get to use your second ban and something to uh, That would be my reasoning behind it, but well, I love, what do I know? Yeah, you know, people get heated about like when it comes to DSR, they're like, where's my DSR? Give it to me. And there's points for both of them, but there are also points for this game five. I love that yeah, uh, up air at a dizzy. Another day. Right now, these two just a uh, quick slobber knocker here with so much damage racked up on both sides in only 30 seconds. K9 again with this phenomenal ledge pressure. Oh, he had that idea with the F smash, but first one doesn't succeed. Try, try again. It's that roller, the first uh, first bit of neutral we've seen this whole time, in this whole uh, little bit of time. Ooh, Goes off, gonna have to do this wolf flash. And there it is, even game. K9, kind of forcing the situation to go for the wolf flash. He might have been able to go for the fire wolf, but either way would have been risky, and all Exox would have had to do was react with that down smash. Yeah, I feel like even the fire wolf was reactable there. You know, either one was gonna get caught with the down smash. Mm -hmm. I like that exact. He's starting to put out on these uh, paint grenades. So maybe try to get K9 off him, but he's just immediately shielding and just not even worrying about it. And XX not able to get the ba the grab after either one of those back airs. K9 now taking a lead, saying, "Man, I'm 
man. He's just he's throwing out these F smashes, but then he's correctly guessed every time XX tries to do something to punish it. Cannon's mm, covering every option so well. Goes for that dash attack. A little bit of explosive nature from Kana, but not gonna get punished just yet. Now here we are in an attack chase, but he doesn't get the down smash. I like the idea. That's such a funny way to get off the ledge. It's super good, honestly, because you can't. There's a bit of knockback on the ladder shot, so they can't actually grab you or things like that. But it just looks so silly. Mm -hmm. Right now, neither player has gotten this kill yet. Goes to the four throw. Who up most likely offline is yeah, why he would have gone for it. Which we're not going to get the sweet spot there. XX has to guess correctly on the ledge here. K9 not even going to go for punish on the roller on shield. I'm pretty sure Wolf can just up smash out of shield when, you know, when the roller hits it. Most likely. So okay for both players. Also the no ink on Exax, but he doesn't want to take the time to fill it up. Don't give him away any more stage than you have to. I think Bakul will kill here. No. Yeah, the issue is like he can't refill his ink because otherwise K9 gets stage control and gets to bring it back. <laughs> but like when, we the, said. when that happens. I'm surprised he still went for the multi-jab. Goes off for the fair. Again, he knows he needs to stock. This is so close for either player. Back door again. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna kill about 200 percent I feel like Xox has jumped with a forward air from ledge almost every single time. And K9's been able to punish them. Mm -hmm. K9's, K9's ledge pressure has been phenomenal this game. He's been able to catch Exact and just kind of condition him to do what he wants. Right, back throw looks for the splat bomb. And a back attack again, but I'm yeah. going to send him off too far. Back throw is going to yeet him away from there. One stock wow. apiece. I am 0 0 here. Game 5. That's how you Winner like to see semifinals. it. Nice whip punish on with the grab. Interesting that he went for the nair there. He wasn't able to follow up, but already opening K9 up once again, 66% off of these throws. What a uh, huh, what a comeback from K9. Goes on up to as an anti air and then just walks back to the F smash. Man, XX is doing a great job of just weaving in and out with these photos, punishing these smash attacks from K9. Gets that down throw, tries to call him out with the back here. This is so scary. He could lose here. Yeah, and the thing is, about that splat bomb is it makes it so K9 can't go for down smash. But at the same point, we haven't seen K9 go for down smash at all uh, throughout the set. Up throw? No. no. There we go. Yep. K9 forcing the situation. Forcing Exax in a situation so dire. This is so close. Oh, that might be it. He goes high in the yeah, up smash. Big up smash. Up smash hits way too far above. K9 going to take that one game five. Really unfortunate. I don't know if he wanted to roll her onto the stage. He wanted to roll her onto the stage, but yeah, it's actually kind of a hard spacing, mm -hmm. especially when they're so close, because if you do it just a 